Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to validate a response data. Here response data when you say here. Say now I'm going to hit this one, this API, it will collect the enter users and it is stored in. Now if I'm going to showcase here, it is a a list of array it's not a list of array it is array inside array we have n number of values now here to here one here to here one like that we have values inside the array how we can able to read it now how we can able to get it means now this operating system and all are same nothing different and you can able to remove for operating system no problem because here we are not uh, reading any file now operating system we can able to remove okay and another one is required library request library is required because we are requesting for url and base url and uh, headers for creating for the dictionary and we are passing into the create session location okay and we are hitting for that url list of users and it will get from that there is a method to get to json to json is basically to convert into a json object a json object value and then inside that if you want to get it means the value then we can able to declare for get values from json and where we need to expected here and the actual what we need to expecting the value means a dollar dot and here there is no before array there is no value then it is by default it is a zero and then there is no name of the array then you can able to in the curly base you can able to declare for zero value then it will get it from here and if you are if you want to declare if you want to get from one then second value 2797 like that okay and you can able to print into the console you can see now here how the value it will come from and you can able to go ahead here change the value this validate is a response if i hitting here we can able to see that value is 2797 our expected value also 2797 correct this is the first position array index will start from 0th position then we can able to validate for 0 1 like that how many it is presented that many times we can able to read and we can able to get it for the value and we can able to validate for like you uh, should be it is present the value it is presented or not like that be equal then it will expected our first dollar curly brace id then second one two seven nine seven is the value then we can able to validate this one and in case if it is not validating error message if it is showing means there is a conversion problem the value should be converted into a, a integer format because see now it is showing that there is a value failed because the requested method or json format is different the value is coming for different format when we are verifying value for different that's why it is not able to validate for that and if you need to valid means we need to convert as an integer if you want string format what kind of value you want to verify then based upon that you are, you want to convert for that value into that particular conversion and then you can able to use it okay then it will pass that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you